Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good evening, everyone. We've seen pretty quiet conditions today, but over the past couple of hours, we've seen a wide range of precipitation developing in the area. And we do have a winter storm warning in effect for all of the counties north of I-4. This does include Tulsa County until noon tomorrow. We are looking at some freezing rain possible, mainly sleet and snow as we head towards Monday morning. And then lesser impacts for the counties shaded in purple. They are under a winter weather advisory. So if you are traveling overnight tonight, could see anything from a freezing rain sleet to snow, so be careful out there on the roadways. And as those temperatures continue to drop through the overnight hours, we're mainly going to see that transitioning over to sleet and then still some lingering snow tomorrow morning around 8 to 10 a.m. After that, we're going to start to see our skies clearing out and our temperatures are not going to be warming up a whole lot. Those are only going to be staying in the lower 30s. But you notice we have a lot of colors on our radar right now. The blue indicates the snowfall. The pinks and purples, that's indicating a little bit of a wintry mix of some freezing rain possible. Also some sleet and even a little bit of snow in those areas. And then we're also looking at some rain around McAllister where temperatures are above freezing. They are still seeing precipitation in that liquid form. But as temperatures have dropped in Pawnee and Osage counties, any of that precipitation has now changed over to snowfall and is going to be moving into the Bartlesville area here pretty quickly. Also seeing some snow up towards Independence, back towards Hominy and extending back towards Pawnee. And then in our far northeast counties around Miami, Grove and Venita, we are seeing a little bit heavier snowfall. And these are the areas where we are looking at those highest snowfall accumulations as we head towards tomorrow morning. Those areas looking at up to six inches of snow. And around Tahlequah with temperatures hovering near that freezing mark, we are seeing a wintry mix of precipitation. So now looking at some sleet and snow in that area. Also some freezing rain and sleet possible along I-40 near Gore, extending back towards Salisaw and towards Shakota. And this is where we're mainly looking at a little bit of ice and could see up to a quarter of an inch of ice. So be very careful traveling along I-40 tomorrow morning, especially on those bridges and overpasses. And then still seeing a little bit of freezing rain and a sleet around the Bristow area, extending back towards Old Mulgee. Right now in Tulsa County, we are looking at pretty quiet conditions, but we are looking at sleet and snow as we head through the next several hours. Right now we're at 30 degrees here in Tulsa, feeling about 10 degrees colder thanks to a breezy northerly wind. It feels like 20 degrees out there. It's 26 in Bartlesville, 24 in Coffeyville, 29 in Manford, and 24 in Ponca City. And with temperatures in the 20s, and that's why they're seeing snow in that area. But throughout the rest of eastern Oklahoma, temperatures are right around that freezing mark, which is why we are seeing a wide range of precipitation throughout the area. So on future track here in Tulsa, we're mainly going to see sleet and snow after midnight with a little bit of sleet and freezing rain possible along I-40. As we head towards 4 a.m., more snow continuing here in Tulsa, and then we're going to start to see that precipitation changing over to snow early Monday morning along I-40 and throughout most of eastern Oklahoma. Then that system moving off to the east and our skies are going to be clearing out, although that's not going to help our temperatures a whole lot. They are mainly going to be staying in those lower 30s. So our snowfall tolls, we're going to see those highest snowfall amounts right in our northeast counties here in Tulsa. This particular model now is up to about five inches. Earlier was showing around two and a half inches. So temperatures are going to be in the 20s tonight. Highs tomorrow only in those 30s. And then we are looking at some quieter conditions on Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday. But as we head towards next weekend, that's when we are looking at some more rainfall chances. So all the models are now trending towards higher snowfall totals here in Tulsa County. Some were about two inches before, but now they are getting closer to that four inch mark. So something to keep in mind as you head off to work tomorrow morning. Wasn't it 70 degrees yesterday? It was 70 degrees. It was actually 76 degrees. What is going on? All right, pretty rainy. Thanks for watching. Now, now it's time for.